thousands and thousands of people meditating and they are nowhere closer to enlightenment because they have misunderstood and over emphasized this aspect of uh, witnessing unclutching unlatching aloof attention and the glorification and the glamorization of that is happened to such an extent that people have got caught into that aspect they simply sit silently and witness and you can do for hundreds of years and nothing will happen it will not lead to enlightenment my dear friends you need to strengthen the wings of understanding and awareness that will help you to take off not witnessing witnessing is a preparatory aspect it is necessary you can't escape you can't avoid but it is just a preparatory aspect it will not help you to take off your understanding and your awareness will help you to take off the enlightenment will happen that way in fact witnessing is more like a trishanku avastha trishanku means you can neither go up nor you can come down you will stay there forever if you don't have the understanding and awareness progress cannot happen witnessing will create a kind of a void it will create a kind of a silence but it will not be blissful it will not be vibrant silence the vibrant silence can happen the bliss will happen the recognition of swaswarup sachidanand swarup will happen enlightenment will happen not only with witnessing but with added understanding and awareness that is what will happen that is what will help you on the path so your awareness has to be aligned and support the witnessing then the witnessing will happen in a different manner so let us understand very systematically why witnessing or the meditation witnessing is the essence of meditation let us understand why only meditation cannot lead to enlightenment or why <clears throat> witnessing cannot lead to enlightenment let us understand in a very systematic manner when you are witnessing there are thoughts to be witnessed there is a witness and there is a process of witnessing so this trio is there as long as the trio is there enlightenment cannot happen so when you align your awareness with the witness consciousness that your broader awareness the sharpened awareness you will be able to witness the things properly and when your witnessing power increases slowly slowly you will observe your thoughts as you go on witnessing with higher awareness the number of thoughts will come down and you will be able to see the beginning of the thought the middle of the thought the end of the thought you will be able to trace the entire trajectory of the thought how it starts how it moves how it comes to the end if you have that kind of a sharpness in your observation then you will be able to recognize the gap between the thought the thought has started and it has ended and the new thought has not yet come you will find a split second gap between the two thoughts if you expand your awareness and become more vigilant greater sensitivity greater attention and if you focus that attention into the gap the gap will expand one thought has gone the second thought has not yet come and the gap is there you will be able to observe the gap and you can get rooted into the gap with a higher intensity awareness when you get rooted into the gap out of this trio the one thing the thought flow has disappeared so now only two things are there because there is nothing to witness the process of witnessing the second aspect will also drop off of some time but the witness is still there as long as the witness is there enlightenment is not possible if this expanded awareness continues at one moment even the witness disappears that is the moment of enlightenment the trio has disappeared when the trio has disappeared 
that is what is enlightenment